with export orders rolling in for the Type 26 frigate, hopefully reducing cost per unit, and factoring in all of the R&D costs required for the Type 31E, wouldn't the Royal Navy be better off ordering a few more Type 26s with a reduced fit-out? Steve Jones, answer. Not necessarily. When I first heard of Type 31 I thought the 26 slide was a sensible approach. Economy of scale, single type logistics, draining pipeline etc, etc. First Sea Lord came out with the justification of it though that T26 was going to take too many in the ship's company to crew the operational component of a 13 strong fleet. No benefit in building hulls that remain tied alongside because we can't get the manpower to send them out. If that's still the case then the T-31E, on the proviso something better than that by a dog's back leg of a design surfaces, is the right course to take. We need to do the low end but possibly shoot a stuff with the most economic and lean manned hull possible. Same sort of brief that led the Dutch to the Holland class OPVs but giving us an actual fighty warship instead of a big OPV. We seem to have something that looked very much like the hull required in the BMT Venator 110. Still looks like a good balance and they, BMT, teamed up with Saab to offer it to Columbia, suggesting that it's more than just a paper design. Why it's dropped out of contention I don't know but I suspect there's quite a few who'd like to understand that.